we petitioned to the Israeli court in a demand that the Israeli Ministry of Defense will revoke NSO export license in, on the grounds of the mounting evidence we have of the NSO software uh, Pegasus being used around the world to attack human rights defenders, lawyers, doctors, whoever, every, anyone who opposes the regime. Besides this petition, we are doing whatever we can in advocacy and campaigning in order to maintain more, to, to bring more supervision and more um, surveillance on the Israeli security export in total, not only software exported by NSO. Sadly, from what we know today, it seems that the Ministry of Defense in Israel is endangering human rights activists around the world as long as it continue to let NSO export its products to these governments. Basically endangers human rights activists all around the world and the main problem is... The allegations made today about NSO exploit of a WhatsApp security breach basically tells us that one and a half billion people were in danger of their phones being controlled, um, spied on, and surveillanced on by, and not, uh, actually we don't know, who was the, the factor that operated this attack. What we do know, or at least what we've heard, that this attack, whoever made it, used the NSO Pegasus software. Again, again, the NSO Pegasus software is being used and in violation of privacy, freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and it can be, and it can lead to a chilling attacks on human rights defenders. It can lead to even imprisoning of people, like have already happened in the United Arab Emirates or in Mexico before.